coverage continues with Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf. He's live in the Heights tonight. And Matthew, what are officials doing right now to prepare for the severe weather? Well, Rashi, right now we're still about 10 hours or so from these storms popping up. So right now officials are watching the forecast closely for possible changes. Crews across southeast Texas now getting ready for possible powerful thunderstorms. Cypher firefighters looking over their rescue trucks. While in spring, they're checking chainsaws and fueling up. But the biggest thing that we're doing right now is monitoring. And what that means for us is watching the forecast, looking for changes in the forecast. Ah! Alert Houston issuing a warning for Thursday, calling for potentially heavy rain, hail, damaging winds, even tornadoes. Know what's going on. Make sure you're paying attention to the forecast. Watch TV, listen to the radio. Here in Deer Park, they were hit by a tornado last January. Ten months later, they're still here rebuilding. I uh, hear we're going to have some more bad weather tomorrow. I hope it's nothing near what it was before. Wow. Wow. Last January, an EF3 tornado ripped through 84-year-old Robert Durden's home. It was a very loud uh, noise, uh, probably similar similar to a freight train. The Twister's 140 mile per hour winds leaving a roughly 20 mile path of destruction through Pasadena and Deer Park. You never think that. It's never going to happen to you, but it does happen. Thursday's tornado risk, the highest it's been in the Houston area since January's destructive twister. We're praying for a tornado. It's kind of scary. Go to an interior room and stay there till the danger's passed. Some good advice there. Hopefully we don't need that tomorrow, but we'll be tracking this very closely. We're live in the Heights tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.